Coach Marshall, thanks for joining us. Please give us your thoughts on the Shockers to start the 2018-19 season. Well, we're um, you know we're we're scuffling along here in the in the conference. Um, I knew when I saw the schedule break that we were uh, going to have a difficult time in the first month. Um, we're arguably starting with the top five teams in the league. And, you know, it doesn't get any easier this week with Central Florida and Cincinnati back-to-back after playing Memphis, Temple, and at Houston. So it, it's just it's hard when we play as many freshmen as we are and many new players as we are. It's hard to, to finish a game and, and get a victory. We were close against Temple, probably let one get away against, obviously, a, a very good Temple team and thought we competed like we want to compete. That's, that's the hardest thing when you have this many young guys is, uh, teaching them how to play as hard as they need to play every single possession. You know, we had a, I think, an eight-point lead the other night, and, and it's probably seven minutes to go in the first half, and uh, a freshman missed a checkout, and and uh, Houston ended up getting three shots and uh, ultimately got an and one on a drive by Davis. But it just started with a a, a, a failure to box out against a very athletic team uh, like Houston that sends guys to the glass like you know they're trying to get a, a a sandwich and they haven't eaten in a week so it's um it's 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 just it's disappointing it's it's tough uh, but we're we're fighting through we're getting prepared today for Central Florida you know they look like an NBA team coming in here with their size and you know we'll see how this will be our first chance to go against Taco the last the two two times we played him last year he was already out so uh, we'll see how we can fare against the Knights. Thank you, Coach. And we'll open up for questions at this time. Reminder, star one on your keypad to ask a question. We will take a question from Taylor Eldridge with the Wichita Eagle. Hey, Coach, thanks for taking the time. Um, just, do you feel like through these first three games in the, the American that, you know, this team has really got a, a close-up look It just, you know, the fine line of, of winning and losing these games. I mean, it can be just, you know, one play, one little one little stretch that can turn a game. Oh, I, I think so. Yeah, we're, you know, we're right there. We're right there. And um, we've been in all three games with a chance to, to, to win all three games. But we, we turned the ball over against Memphis, uh, had a couple of breakdowns, but we especially turned the ball over. And that's been our bugaboo. We're up 11 in overtime. Or excuse me, in the regulation, three minutes to go, three and a half to go against Temple, and we turn the ball over two out of three times, and we rush a we, we rush a possession. We get a very good look. Now it was almost a layup. It actually was a layup. Kid kind of finger rolled it, and we miss, and that that sandwiched around two turnovers. Uh, so um, quickly, a 11 point lead becomes a five point lead, and you know now now they tie the game and they win it in overtime. We just we have to know that our margin for error, especially this year, is razor thin. And we're just we're gonna have to find a way to get more quality possessions, more finished possessions on the defensive end and 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 figure out a way to get a, a little bit better shot on the offensive end. And and certainly there's ways. I mean I break the film down and I look at it, but you know the you're you're basically you know, I'm not asking these kids to be perfect at this stage of their career but they need to be very close. They need to be really, really good and try to put uh, as many quality minutes together as possible. And, and we're building on that. It's getting better. You know, it's, it has been 15 to 20 and now it's maybe up to 30. So we've got a, we've got an inch closer to putting a full game together to, to get a win, especially right now. Yeah. And rewatching the, the Houston film, is it encouraging to, you know, that's one of the best defenses in the country, some of the things you guys are able to do, or is it, you know, frustrating because, you know, a lot of the, like you said, I mean, the, the turnovers, a lot of the, the same things are, are popping up down the stretch. Yeah, um, with with Houston, I mean, you're going to Houston. They're 17th ranked in the country. They've got the longest win streak in the country. Coach Sampson is one of the best coaches in the country. They've got – veteran guards they've got experience in the post they've got depth and talent and athleticism so 
And the best thing that they have is they're well coached and they're not going to beat themselves. So you've got to beat them. You've got to beat them. And we were playing well. We were making shots and whatnot. And then we come out in the second half and, uh, you know, there was – couple of phantom calls and then we couldn't make a shot and we just get down and all of a sudden there's a run and now our five point lead becomes a five or six point deficit and you know we get down I think about eight or nine and and come back and take a one point lead there's another there's another run another sign of growth for our team and we we get to the point where we have a one point lead with ten and a half to go and you know just just can't finish but now, obviously, that's a very difficult place to play with, with uh, a great program. So, the one that the one that still sticks in my crawl a little bit is is, is Temple and our just lack of experience and and uh, you know other factors. We just we just kind of take a game that we had in our hand and and give it away. And we haven't done that very often around here. But we we've actually flipped that on some teams in the past. But it happened to us this year, and and you know it hopefully won't happen again. But you know, I've got to get these guys in a position to close a game, and maybe next time we can close it. How do you try to keep the, the, the you know, take these first five games? Like you said, I mean, these might be the, the five best teams in the conference. How do you take these five games and, and tell these guys that, you know, it's it's going to get maybe not easier from here, but, you know, to grow from this, to learn from this? What's, what's the big challenge in the, these first five games? Well, I mean, you know, on paper – uh, going into the season, you 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 knew that it was going to be the top teams in the league, if not three, you know, two or three of them for sure, the top teams in the league. So, uh, but for us, it, it it this year, it's not going to no no game is going to be easy. We won't. I'm not sure we'll be favored in the game. Maybe at home against someone down the road in February, but I mean, every game is going to be a challenge and a struggle. And you're talking nine new scholarship players, and two of the ones you had returning didn't play 50, 50 minutes last year. So basically we've got a whole new roster other than McDuffie and 200 plus minutes from um, Samaje Haynes Jones last year. So these guys are learning how to play college basketball and uh, you know, they're going to have to just continue to take their licks until they get better and, and they can do something about it. Hello. Oh, yeah. Thank, thanks for your time, Coach. Okay. We'll take our next question from Brian Murphy with the Orlando Sentinel. Hi, Coach. You mentioned uh, UCF size and Taco Fall. Is that the is that the the biggest aspect of this game that you really have to prepare for, or is there something else about UCF that you think could give uh, Wichita State uh, problems? Oh no, they've, they've got uh, experience. They've got talent. I mean, they've got one of the best guards in the league. They've got a, a wing that obviously uh, Johnny's son uh, started at Michigan, was hurt last year. He's back healthy and playing well. Uh, the, the, the big guys, Brown and, and Smith, uh, besides Taco inside. I mean, there's, this, this is, you know, Johnny's been building for this for a while, and he's, he's obviously got a veteran team that can compete physically with anybody in the country. It's just a matter of taking care of the ball and knocking down shots. I mean, they're great defensively. They certainly protect the rim as well as anyone in the country, and we'll, um, you know, we'll have to play very, very well. They've got a lot of things going for them. And when you look at the conference overall, just what is your general state of the conference from from top to bottom? What do you think about the entire league? Uh, I haven't seen everyone. Um, I peaked at the Tulane Central Florida game yesterday. Um, you know, I'll obviously pour into that a little closer today and also uh, I've seen some Central Florida tape from previous games uh, so Tulane is is scuffling but you know they uh, t- Tulane played uh, Memphis yesterday they, they were they were down and then came back you know they showed some fight uh, so I don't know about Tulane that's the only one I, I, I saw a little bit of East Carolina yesterday and their tremendous freshman Gardner um, South Florida, I watched them a little bit against whoever they played last. I guess it was uh, while we were sitting in a hotel room in Houston. Uh, and, and, you know, they look better. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Other than us and Tulane, I, I think the league is pretty solid. 
there may not be a team like Cincinnati last year or maybe like Houston or even us last year. I, I maybe Central Florida is, is that team. Um, but I think from the middle of the league, the, the meat of the league is maybe better. The, the bottom has gotten better up towards the middle, and maybe the top is coming down just a slight tick. But, again, I, I, I think Houston's tremendous. I think Cincinnati, you know, until I see otherwise, I think they're tremendous. And you know, Central Florida right now uh, looks really, really good. So, and then you've got Memphis is a little better, and, and UConn's a little better, and South Florida and East Carolina, like I mentioned. So I think you know, that top to middle half is better and more competitive. Coach Marshall, and, thank you so much for your time here today. Uh, we will get you back in February. Thanks again.